When it comes to bull riding, safety is paramount, and that's why out in the arena we have the safety protection athletes. And I'm with, I'm with one of the best in the business. That's Chongy. How are you, mate? Very well, thanks, Tanya. What exactly do you do out there? Uh, we're basically like the bull riders' bodyguards. Um, we got to position ourselves in between the bull rider and the bull, and to give them an opportunity to get away safely and not be heard at the radio. Your natural instinct, though, would be to get out of the way. So how do you get your mind sort of uh, working overtime and thinking, no, I've got to be there for the, 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 the bull riders? Yeah, most people's instinct is to run on, on fear when they are scared of something. Our sort of job is to control that fear factor and be stay calm as we possibly can and, yeah, be able to not move when we know that we're going to probably possibly get hurt. But I've got, you know, good bullfighters beside me, Dan Roberts and Bob Dale, um, and I've fought with them before, so I have a lot of faith in them saving me and the boys all get on there and pull their rope. So, yeah, they put their lives in our hands, so, you know, it's our duty of care to basically look after them. And, but you guys are quite different to the clowns that we see out there entertaining the people. Yeah, for the fans, a lot of people call us clowns and when I say that I'm the rodeo bullfighter, they say, oh, you're the clown. Um, that's not what I do. Like, I'm not really funny at my role. It's a bit, a bit more serious. So um, the clowns are the ones with makeup on and they're the entertainment for the crowd. And then there's bullfighters, a protection athlete who, uh, yeah, you know, they're paid to go out there and protect the riders. So, yeah, I don't really find my role funny. I find it very serious. And do you have to do any special training to get yourself fit for this kind of a thing? Yeah, Tanya, like it's a big in duration, like three days event at Mount Isa Rodeo. It's the biggest rodeo in Southern Hemisphere. So a lot of running, fitness, um, swimming, bike riding, eat healthy. You know, over this weekend, this time of the year, got to yeah, eat well and that. Otherwise, you're going to come down with a flu because there's that many people here. So, yeah, basically look after myself and you'll perform better at the elite level. Well, mate, you're an absolute champion, Chongy. Get out there, stretch yourself and good luck and keep safe. Thanks, Tanya. Pleasure.